Willkommen, mein Thrones. How are you today? We have been doing great here at Dirk Club. We are in first place. We've been in rare form. We're charging ahead. We've got a slightly new chop, uh, tactic that has worked just, just amazing for us. So let's go ahead and run the intro and we'll see how it's been. All right, so right here over on the right, you can see how you can see the league table. We are in first with 61 points, and you can see we're pulling away. We've got an 11 point lead on the second place team, Stuttgart, and we've got a 12 point lead over Berlin. So uh, I couldn't be happier. You, you know, at the end of the uh, winter transfer window, I was just sure that with the loss of talent we had, that that was it. We were gonna we were gonna drop. I was just hoping we could finish in the top third and be in the promotion conversation, but I didn't really expect us today at first. Uh, we dropped down to second after the very first week, and and we didn't play great initially, but but we've come back um, to the point where, look at this. This was 12 days ago in-game, and six of the players on the team of the week for the division are us. That's how good we're playing right now. Uh, our, our defensive players have been playing great. Um, well, that's a little bit of a preview there, but uh, Sebastian Mai, player of the week, two weeks in a row, and the week before that, it was Zay Turbo. Um, Mai's been amazing. Uh, we, we changed up our the configuration for how we want our players to play um, corner kicks uh, because how, Mai's heading is, is 16, his jumping reaches 18. I mean, it's just amazing. It's the reason he's in, even though the rest of this isn't spectacularly um, better than, than the other players at that position. The headers have been. So we stuck him in there. And uh, he's had two or three goals, and and has just played played lights out. So let's look at the schedule. We will see how it's actually broken down so far. The last match you saw was Stuttgart, which was this uh, terribly exciting nil-nil draw for us. Then we went on uh, here. We had a 1-0 game against uh, Allen. Again, nothing particularly exciting. Kala, defender who's played very well for us as well. Uh, we brought him in over the winter break as defensive depth and has, has played great as well. Um, he got a goal in the 69th. Then uh, Duisburg, Zaytar both had a goal in the 37th. Sandy McMeekin got one there at the very end of the half. Uh, we ended up winning it 2-1. One nice thing is our penalties have been down this second half, so some of the players we shed were apparently some of our more aggressive players, and those numbers have looked a lot better. Then we went to this match against Hanover 96. Uh, we did okay. Sebastian Kirk got a goal 15 minutes in, and we didn't look good. We didn't look good. So we changed up our tactics a little bit. And one second. What we ran with was something along these lines. I had these two. Um, Zay Turbo was on the right, but he was the attacker. Ptolemyo was on the left, but he was the support. And uh, we did okay. Uh, in fact... Oops, because I have to get back through all the screens I accidentally went to before. Uh, where are we here? We scored two goals right there in that half and played great. Um, it took us a little while to get it, but but we looked really good up to that point. You can see Zay Turbo 91. So we went on to a match against Mainz, which I did actually record for you because I was so excited with how the second half of the game went, only to find out my mic was muted the whole time. I'm looking right now to make sure it's on. And uh, so you're not going to see that one. Anyway, we continued on 3-1 against Mainz. And at this point, I think they were second. Uh, and we were first. And so we were just doing, it was a big game for us. And you can see here, Ptolemyo, goal in the 30th. Sebastian Mai, this is one of his goals, one in the 52nd. And Zay Turbo got a penalty kick in the 58th minute. One penalty. We just, we just look great. We look great. Um. Is that the penalty kick? One, two, three. Maybe we had a second goal that was disallowed. Maybe that's what that is. Anyway, so then we moved on. Uh, same, exact same thing. Uh, I watched this match, Federico Chiasa. We put him in instead of Tolomeo just to give him some play time. He prefers to be out on the wing, but he can play striker. Rewarded us with a goal in the 26th. Sebastian Kirk got one in the 63rd. He's been playing very well as well. And uh, Gerald Feek 
one in the 84th. Also super happy with him. And you can see the numbers here. We, we were looking good. I believe, let's look at the match here real fast. Stats, match ratings. Uh, 19 shots, 11 were on target. Uh, we had three clear-cut chances and a half chance. Uh, we played really, really well. Uh, I was happy with it, but what I noticed watching this game was that Zay Turbo, when he got the ball because he was the attacker, and he was the attacker because he's been our goal scorer all season, right? We were we were going to keep him there. We knew he was he was the guy we wanted for that. Um, so as he comes up, he was getting tackled, and he doesn't really have the stats to stay stuck in with this stuff. Or or I thought he did, but he didn't. Um, you know, determination is only 10. Bravery is only 8. Guys would come in on the tackles, and he'd just bail or he'd fall down or whatever. And so our attacks were getting muted because he was the one. As soon as he got the ball, he tried to carry it up all himself. They came in, and they finished him. So what we did was we switched things back around, right? We switched him here. So Zay Turbo is now our deep-lying forward. Domenico Tolomeo is now our poacher. And and what that does is, Tolomeo, you can see here, his bravery is only nine, but and his determination is only five. This is super interesting to me. Um, but for whatever reason, he doesn't get taken out. I'm assuming it's because of this agility of 17, right? They come in and they just don't get him. They don't get him. Agility 17, balance of 13, you know, pace, you know. He, he for whatever reason, when he dribbles up, <laughs> he's fine. But we still tend to find Zay Turbo more often early. It's just he doesn't keep it because he's not the attacker. He passes it off. Tolomeo tends to pass off a little earlier as well. He doesn't tend to dribble it all the way up. And uh, what that does for us is you can see here, 7 to 1. I mean, I, I, Sebastian Mai, two goals. Sebastian Kirk got another goal. Zay Turbo, his first hat trick of the season. He's had a brace probably like six times, but this is his first hat trick. Dominic Hibbon, we brought him in as well out on the corner to get a, to get a game. I th think maybe Oliver was suspended for um, reaching his yellow card limit that one, maybe. Maybe that's why we brought him in. But it's possible. I do bring him in occasionally as a, as a uh, sub as well. I'm... In injury time, it's entirely possible he was there. And then we went on. Oh, let's look at this. I, this is when the numbers start to get a little crazy. So match stats. We had 19 shots on goal. 11 of those were on target. 11. Three clear-cut chances. Three half chances. Seven of them are long shots. Not really too worried about it. One of the players that's played so well for us is Kirk. And... Uh, he's been playing our advanced midfield in this one. He's got a long shot of 15, so, um, you know, he's there specifically to get those shots. He's more comfortable here. Super happy with him in that position. Oh, now we got to load the highlights again. I didn't think that's what I hit, but um, I guess that's what we're doing. So, obviously we're keeping up with that, right? I mean, that's just 7-1. That doesn't happen. That set the, uh, the scoring record for me, by the way, for the most number of goals in a match I was involved in. Not necessarily the... Oddly enough, it didn't say it set the record for the most number of goals we had scored, but it was the highest match score since like a 3-3 match or something like that. So I don't know how we haven't scored more goals. Than, I, don't, I don't know how it's not the record for most goals that we've scored um, because the record was less than seven for total goals scored. Anyway, whatever. So uh, then we went on the road, Bellafield, and 4-2. Uh, Domenico Tolomeo, now that we've got him as the, the, the striker, he got he got a brace. Zay Turbo still in it at the 50th. Michael Bear got one in the 65th. Um, we were up 4-1. to one. They snuck back one with one here in the 72nd to make it look a little bit more respectable, 4-2. I mean, the numbers are great. Look, Sebastian Kirk played with a 9. Uh, Gerald Feek has been amazing as well. Uh, since he's been back healthy this half of the season, we've got him a little bit of game time. You know, first touch of 15. Uh, his long shot's coming up, but it's it's not spectacular yet. But passing of 11, great technique, though, for him. Uh, good vision, good work rate. He's he's just been, he's played very, very well for us. Balance is 16 again. We don't really necessarily need him to be super up front, but, but he has been. Now, this is the one that just blew me away. I, I just matched stats. Here we are. 16 shots on goal, 11 on target, 6 clear-cut chances, and 7 half chances. That's 13 chances out of 16 shots, and uh, only one of those was a long shot. Only one. I, I don't even know. I, I don't know. This, this, this is 
I guess Valentine's Day is coming up. This is my my love letter to the uh, to the four one two one two or whatever the heck this formation is called. Um, it's just it's been amazing. Uh, it's just a revelation. I, I don't even I don't even understand it. So we'll take a look real fast. This is what we've got set up. We've got Seidel, Linsman, Kala, and Fisher in the back here. Linsman uh, Linsmeyer is in because Mai is injured for four weeks. As soon as he's back, he will come back in because he has been. 7.88 over the last uh, five matches. I mean, he's just been unbelievable. So he will get back in some matches. Uh, Dominic Kiblin, we've brought him in. He's uh, averaged 7.63, but that's only over three. And that was a 9.2 in the last match he played in. But he definitely is making an argument to get in. Unfortunately, Fisher has got a 7.26 over five and, and has just played, has played phenomenal. And he's our young guy with a five-star potential. So we're doing our best to keep him in. But anyway, for the moment, that's our back four. Uh, so, uh, Swanka still back here. Uh, he's playing our defensive midfielder. I had swatched, uh, switched him with buyer. Uh, I'm trying to remember why. I don't remember why it made sense at the time. Um, flare of 20 though. Determination is 17. I like having him a little bit more up front. Uh, he, and he's played very well there. Uh, in fact, he's being scouted. We're, unless we get promoted, we're probably not going to be able to keep him. He's wanted by three players, and we've had uh, managers showing up at the matches specifically to watch him. So, in fact, if you look, there's a fair number of wanted. Michelitis, four teams want him. Zay Turbo, Dormstadt wants him. Oliver Fisher, Stuttgart, and Ingolstadt. So if we don't get promoted, uh, we're not hanging on to these guys. We're starting over again next season. And I already said we can't, we can't keep Zay Turbo anyway because his demands are significantly above what the club will allow me to pay. So... It is what it is. Anyway, Felk Bayer in the middle. Kirk up here is our advanced forward. Zay Turbo Ptolemyo up front as our strikers. Uh, just two orders or instructions. More direct passing and hit early crosses. That's it. That's all we're going on. Nothing complicated. Pretty easy. Uh, I thought we were on the right day, but clearly I'm not. Uh, Stefan Meyer, one of our young guys. We don't really care right now. Uh, our youth is not good. It's not like Spazia where our under-19s destroyed everybody and our under-20s were were very near the top. There's there's no youth on this team, or no no talent in the youth in this team. Um, we are coming up to the uh, international break, I suppose you, is what you'd call it. Uh, and in fact, if we look at the schedule, well, the schedule and the calendar... You'll see right here, six, eight, 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 three. Um, a lot of players about to go. Um, and so we're not going to have a... We'll take the week off this time. Off to team selection. We're not going to mess with it. We're pretty happy with what we have right now. Uh, on the spares, we've got Chiasa. He can come in uh, anywhere kind of in the top three if we need him. Uh, Vasilis, he uh, on the left. Jans Kubler, one of those middle spots. Sandy McKeegan, middle or, well, any of the four midfielder spots. Dominic Hilbin on the right for our defense. Uh, Nikolai, he's one of the young guys that we brought in for depth on, just on loan. He can play any of those three spots there. And uh, obviously, Stefan Rak Rakosevic uh, for goal. And we need to get him in a match. Uh, if we get another one where we're comfortably ahead, we'll put him in because he does need some game time. And he he's, he's not a significant drop-off from what we have. He's actually a pretty good goalie. He's not like the last goalie that I worried that if we put him in, we were going to give up four matches. All right, Hamburg in their white jerseys this time with just a brown stripe. Kind of a skid mark. I'm glad we don't have those jerseys. All right, apply advice to team. On to pep talk. Uh, tell them to pick up where they left off. I think that's fine. And again, I'm worried that we're going to pick up the game on the mic, so I'm going to turn that down here. I did do a pregame check this time to make sure all of the volumes worked beforehand and turned on a couple more channels within OBS, so um, if there's a problem with one, like say I've muted this, then the webcam mic will still get my voice as well. So um, I had those channels set up, but it was only outputting two channels, so... It didn't matter if it was on channel three. We weren't going to get it. All right, we had a nice little room. He passes it up to Ptolemyo, who loses it. 
Uh, what I've learned is while this isn't meant to be a possession tactic, uh, we end up with a fair amount of possession when we're the attacking zone. We tend to throw it up, we lose it a lot on the way up, but once we get up front, oh, Ptolemyo on the break, he makes the shot. Oh, just, just wide right. Uh, we tend to pass the ball really well once we get up. We get really good movement when everybody's up there, and our possession tends to uh, improve quite dramatically once we're, once we're successfully on the attack. Or at least in the attacking, when we're in that final third. So we'll, we'll see how this one goes. And we are away. I'm not expecting, you know, 7-1 again. Call is not playing great this match. He has a yellow. He has played very well. Uh, apparently we're struggling to keep possession. Uh, that is true at the moment. Oh, that was dangerous. Call has always got one yellow, but he makes a great tackle. He feeds up to Ptolemyo on the right, who feeds it across to Zay Turbo. He kicks it up to Kirk, who's going to take the shot. Mueller manages to push it aside. Give us the corner kick. This is where we miss mine. We feed it in. Gets kicked back out. He's just going to let it go back up for the throw-in. I wish he would have just kicked it in for the... Uh, crossed it back over again, but... Obviously, nothing happens on the throw-in. They've got a free kick. It goes in. Nothing there. Zay manages to get it. Is he going to feed it all the way up to the... Uh, he doesn't really have a passing lane, even though he's got guys on the right. He can't... There we go. Nice little move. Gets it across to Kirk. He manages to feed it across the feet. Over to Bear. Oh, he takes the shot. Mueller makes almost the same identical save as we saw last time. Pushes the ball off to his right. Corner kick for us. The other thing about having Kirk in, despite his long shot of 15 or 16, is that we do have his great corners and uh, uh, free kicks and penalty kicks as well. All right. Seedle's played pretty well for us, but I'm real happy with him. He makes a great crossover there. Oh, looked like Zay Turbo got a, uh, got a head on it. Wasn't able to get, get in in the goal, though. Free kick Kirk just up to Bear, up to Feek. He's running up. He's clear. Oh, my gosh. He makes kind of a, a, a low-angle shot. Mueller has good position. Kicks it back out. Mueller's played very well this match. We've had seven shots. Five of them have been on target. Only two of them have been long. Mueller ends up with it again at that point. Hamburg's had three shots. One has been on target. We've played pretty well defensively. Of course, now that I say that, I'll probably curse us. Oh, nice. Oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Somebody... Got a foot on it, almost rolled it in, but it looked like uh, Fisher managed to clear it off for a throw in. Much less eventful half than what we've been seeing up to this point. Uh, we've got three yellows, so we're back to form, I guess. I thought it said Kompka was getting the yellow, but maybe Kompka is the ref and he handed out the yellow. Uh, Kala has not played great this match. We might sub him out at the half here. Oh, Schmidt had a great shot, but he puts it off the post from like three inches away. That was a clear-cut chance. We've only had two half chances so far. Um, yeah, I think we got to... Let's see. Kala's looking a little nervous, and he should because he hasn't played well. Um, but we've got some... We've. Who are we going to bring in? Um... You know what? We'll bring in we'll bring in Baum. Put him in for Kala for this match. Kirk has played pretty poorly too. Let's go ahead and uh, I just I don't want to get him. We're gonna bring in McMeekin. Uh, Sebastian Sebastian's played or Sandy, excuse me, has played pretty well for us. As the season's gone on and some of our players have stepped up, I've used him less and less because he's not our player. Uh, but, at the same time, I would really like to get promoted. And we're beginning to get a nice little, a nice little separation, but, you know, we don't, we don't necessarily need wins every match, but we don't want losses. You know, we need to at least get something every match from here on out, or, or close to it. And then, hope it continues. We put it up, not able to get it. Bowman's bringing it in. He's got guys on his right. Not a lot of people up support. He takes the shot. Lukowski gets it. He leaves it in. Linsmeyer manages to clear it off to the side for three. We're going to stop and give a quick pep talk. Um, we're going to go with an assertive... We're going to go with a passionate get creative. Let's see if that helps us some here. Let's 
to the left. Great little break. He's got the crossover. We got Zay Turbo in place. He wasn't able to get it, but Swanka's charging up. Oh, there we go. There's the finish. He comes flying up from the back, manages to take the, the, the rebound up or the head out, whatever it was, and put it in the net. Let's see. Seedle over to... Looks like Dunholt's got a head on it. Perfectly positioned to Swanka, though, who comes charging up. Goalie guesses wrong completely. Goes to his right. Ball goes to the left. one nothing Nuremberg. All right. Let's get into the point where we're going to have to start paying attention to... Uh, to condition we're working with it see this is what happens we get up here we get this nice little passing beaks got it up to Ptolemyo oh there we go two nothing just like that once we get up there we get that nice little possession going we get the passing going back and forth we tend to open up a lot of opportunities um I was watching uh the Lujo his channel and he plays something similar he doesn't play with the defensive midfielder so he's playing a 4-3-1-2 but he was commenting on the same thing that he sees this nice little beautiful short passing game up there um, on his team as well when he runs with that. And uh, one of the reasons I was willing to do that also because I just didn't think at the time I was going to have it. Um, I, could, I could do a starter with a striker and two advanced wingers, but I, I didn't have any subs for it. So we needed something that we could play throughout a game, and that meant going back to a system like this. All right, let's go ahead. We are going to make some substitutions. I've got two more. I had talked about bringing Stefan in, so we are going to go ahead and do that. Nobody's particularly tired at this point, so we're not going to do anything else. Nobody's been playing terrible. Just going to go with that. Get him a little bit of game time. 25 minutes or so. Linsmeyer had been complaining about not getting game time. Uh... But luckily, you know, I had the excuse of Mai's playing, you know, best condition of his life. So we put him in, uh, you know, but then Mai got injured. So we're able to keep him happy a little bit here. Although we do miss Mai. And then uh, I had another one complaining, but Kala, same thing. Same excuse. Kala's in the best form of stuff. McMeekin comes charging in. Oh, he just misses that wide. What a chance that was. We've only had three half chances, no clear cut, but of our 13 shots, seven have been on goal. Our possession's back up to about 48%. Feek feeds it up to Ptolemyo. He comes charging up. He does have the players on the right. Is he going to make the cross? Zay Turbo come charging in. There we go. There's the re uh, replacement for displacement. A little forced induction football from Zay Turbo. This is what this change has made. Even though Ptolemyo is supposed to be the attacker and Zay Turbo is supposed to be the support guy, in reality what happens is Zay Turbo is the one that keeps it with the dribbling up. He feeds it into Zay who, who, who finishes. It's had the exact opposite. Oh, oh, we got lucky there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that ball just bounced around there. Just rolled as slow as you, as, as you can imagine across the front of that goal face before we got it cleared out. Oh, a little bit of adventure in goalkeeping, but we're up 3 nothing. A little bit of time wasting back here, except Feek manages to lose it. Becker makes a charge in. They've got about 15 seconds to make something happen. Suenka has played great this match. He manages to clear it out. McMeekin feeds it back to, to Bohm. Bame. I'm not sure how we pronounce that one. Ptolemyo. Full time. Der Club. 3 nothing pleased with the way we played uh and and let's take a look i mean almost everybody's in the sevens here we have a few eights eight one eight three you know our offense hasn't played great this match but even with not playing great we still had a three nothing lead and i believe that that is going to get rakovsky the shutout record he had it tied i believe at 16 going into this match let us find out really quick uh rakasevic makes his debut Ptolemyo impresses. We'll go ahead and praise his performance, a goal and an assist. He has played lights out for us recently. Here we go. Uh, there we go. They're scouting buyer for us. And he reaches his yellow card limit, so we're going to have to play without him for match. But we'll put McMeekin in for him. Uh, passing record. And there we go. Rakowski sets new shutout record. 17 shutouts. Now, I was complaining because um, one of the pre-match interviews one of the other coaches was talking about how well known I was for defensive football and uh, 
I haven't played defensive football for a while. Uh, the last season in Spotsy, I played more attacking, despite the fact that my job requirement was to play defensive. And here, I've played an attacking mentality the entire time we've been here, with a few swaps back to... Um, I've just completely blanked on the word. Counterattack. Uh, but I don't remember to go to counterattack that often. Anyway, but here we go. 17 shutouts. So clearly, while I may not be purposely playing defensively, uh, apparently I do have a little bit more of that mentality. Um, so this is the second time I've had a goalie set the team record for shutouts. And in fact, if we go back and we look at... We go back and look here... I mean, you can see here we had a little stretch of no goals. I believe at one point we actually had, here we go, look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six. We had a six-game stretch where we didn't allow a single goal. We didn't score a lot of goals in there. Um, recently, we've been on a pretty good stretch for scoring goals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've scored goals in eight here. We had a stretch at the beginning where we scored at least one goal in ten. Um, but... Even though we've been scoring a lot and we have been focusing more on offensive, you know, we're not allowing a lot of goals. You know, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Two goals here. That's it out of the last, you know, 10, 10 matches or so. So um, anyway, the point is things are going pretty good. We are, let's check competitions right now. Everybody's got 28 matches in, it looks like. We've got a 14-point lead with 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six matches to go. So there are 18 points left to grab. We've got 14 points. We get one more win, and I don't know that we can lose it. We might be able to clinch it next week with a win. Certainly with a tie the next week after that. Um, not a lot of drama left here towards the end. I'm sorry, folks, but look at that form. Look at that form. And that tactic has just been beautiful for us. Although... You know, we're going to be without without uh, by our next match. So we'll go with that. We're going to go into a little international break. We will be back for the last match of the season against my favorite time, team, the Reuton Teufels of Kaiserslautern. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like. If you hated it, hit dislike. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. Let me know how I'm doing, what you think I should be doing, and we will see you next time. Tschüss.